Qt pronounced Qt is a cross-platform application framework and widget toolkit for creating classic and embedded graphical user interfaces, and applications that run on various software and hardware platforms with little or no change in the underlying codebase while still being a native application with native capabilities and speed. Qt is currently being developed by the Qt Company, a publicly listed company, and the Qt Project under open source governance, involving individual developers and organizations working to advance Qt. Qt is available under both commercial licenses and open source GPL 2.0, GPL 3.0, and LGPL 3.0 licenses. Purposes and abilities Qt is used for developing graphical user interfaces and multi-platform applications that run on all major desktop platforms and most mobile or embedded platforms. Most GUI programs created with Qt have a native-looking interface, in which case Qt is classified as a widget toolkit. Also non-GUI programs can be developed, such as command line tools and consoles for servers. An example of such a non-GUI program using Qt is the Qtelist web framework. Qt supports various compilers, including the GCC C++ compiler and the Visual Studio Suite and has extensive internationalization support. Qt also provides Qt Quick, that includes a declarative scripting language called QML that allows using JavaScript to provide the logic. With Qt Quick, rapid application development for mobile devices became possible, while logic can still be written with native code as well to achieve the best possible performance. Other features include SQL database access, XML parsing, JSON parsing, thread management and network support. <laughs> Qt releases The latest version is Qt 5.12 LTS, which was released on 6 December 2018. It comes with several new features including technology preview of Qt for Python and of Qt for WebAssembly. The current LTS version is Qt 5.12 LTS. It was released on 6 December 2018 and will be supported for three years. The initial release of Qt software was on 20 May 1995. Topic. Qt deployment In 2017, the Qt company estimates a community of about 1 million developers worldwide in over 70 industries. Topic. Desktop UIs Graphical user interfaces and desktop environments that utilize Qt – QML as widget toolkit KDE Plasma – a Libre desktop environment for computers and tablets LXQt – lightweight X11 desktop environment, the successor to the GTK Plus based LXDE, based on Qt DDE – Deepin desktop environment for Deepin Linux Lumina – a desktop environment designed for TrueAOs Lirios, a workspace built on Qt, QML Liquidshell, a shell without hardware acceleration via using Qt widgets instead of Qt Quick SDDM, a display manager that is X11 and Wayland compatible written in QML Trinidida, an active fork based on KDE3 Unity 8, a convergent desktop environment originally by Canonical B-Shell, a simple shell based on KDE frameworks the shell, a desktop shell written in Qt. Topic: Embedded and mobile UIs. Actively developed or maintained. Asteroidos, an open source operating system designed for smartwatches. Avionics, Panasonic's in-flight entertainment system. BlackBerry 10, a touchscreen-based mobile OS by BlackBerry Limited. 
Sailfish OS, a mobile operating system developed by Yola Glacier, the Nemo Mobile UX successor of Migo, based on QT5 and Wayland Plasma Mobile, a touch-based GUI developed by KDE Lunios, community-driven successor for Palm, HP Webis Ubuntu Touch, a phone UI developed by Ubports, originally by Canonical Tesla Model S in Car UI Webis, a multitask operating system from LG for smart devices like TVs and smartwatches SkyQ, the home entertainment system of Sky Sky PLC available, but an active Migo handset and tablet UX OP, a GUI for the Sharp Zorus Qtopia, a system by Nokia for embedded and mobile devices Ultra Haptics, haptic interface developer for a wide range of applications. Topic: <laughs> Applications using Qt Some notable cross-platform applications using Qt – QML Adobe Photoshop Album Adobe Photoshop Elements AMD's Radeon Software Crimson Edition Driver Tool Application Autodesk Maya Bitcoin Core, a Bitcoin client Bitcoin ABC, a Bitcoin Cash client CryEngine V Editor Dolphin Emulator, an emulator for the Nintendo Wii and Nintendo GameCube systems Dorico Notation Software Dragonframe Stop Motion Animation Software Eagle by CADsoft Computer, Autodesk, an EDA application with schematic capture, PCB layout, auto router and cam features Freemat Free Open Source Numerical Computing Environment Google Earth Krita Graphics Editing and Digital Painting Software Mathematica, a mathematical symbolic computation program, sometimes termed a computer algebra system or program, used in many scientific, engineering, mathematical, and computing fields. Orange Data Mining Suite QGIS Geographic Information System Quitters Feed Reader Scribus Desktop Publishing Software Sibelius Music Composition and Notation Software Source 2 Engine Tools a 3D video game engine developed by Valve Corporation Stellarium, a planetarium program Subsurface, a software for logging and planning scuba dives initially designed and developed by Linus Torvalds TeamViewer, a computer software package for remote control, desktop sharing, online meetings, web conferencing and file transfer between computers Telegram, a messaging client available for Windows, Mac and Linux VirtualBox OS virtualization software VLC Media Player WPS Office XNView MP There are cases where applications have ported their user interface code from another toolkit to Qt to make use of a cross-platform native GUI, such as the Wireshark Network Packet Analyzer, LXQt Desktop, VLC Media Player and the RoseGarden Audio Editor. Topic. Organizations using Qt Qt is utilized by a wide range of companies and organizations such as AMD Blizzard Entertainment Electronic Arts European Space Agency DreamWorks Danaher Corporation John Deere Lucasfilm Luxift Microsoft Panasonic Philips Robert Bosch GmbH Samsung Siemens Volvo German Air Traffic Control HP Walt Disney Animation Studios Valve Corporation Qt Software Architecture Topic. Qt concepts Qt is built on these key concepts Complete abstraction of the GUI When first released, Qt used its own paint engine and controls, emulating the look of the different platforms it runs on when it drew its widgets. This made the porting work easier because very few classes in Qt depended really on the target platform, however, this occasionally led to slight discrepancies where that emulation was imperfect. 
Recent versions of Qt use the native style APIs of the different platforms, on platforms that have a native widget set, to query metrics and draw most controls, and do not suffer from such issues as often. On some platforms such as Migo and KDE, Qt is the native API. Some other portable graphical toolkits have made different design decisions, for example, WX Widgets uses the toolkits of the target platform for its implementations. Signals and slots A language construct introduced in Qt for communication between objects which makes it easy to implement the observer pattern while avoiding boilerplate code. The concept is that GUI widgets can send signals containing event information which can be received by other controls using special functions known as slots. MetaObject Compiler The MetaObject Compiler, termed mock, is a tool that is run on the sources of a Qt program. It interprets certain macros from the C++ code as annotations, and uses them to generate added C++ code with meta information about the classes used in the program. This meta information is used by Qt to provide programming features not available natively in C++, signals and slots, introspection and asynchronous function calls. Language bindings Qt can be used in several other programming languages like Python, JavaScript, C Sharp or Rust via language bindings, C. Qt modules Starting with Qt 4.0 the framework was split into individual modules. With Qt 5.0 the architecture was modularized even further. Qt is now split into essential and add-on modules. <laughs> Qt essentials <laughs> Qt add-ons Topic. Additions There are four editions of Qt available, Community, Indie Mobile, Professional and Enterprise. The Community version is under the open source licenses, while the Indie Mobile, Professional and Enterprise versions, which contain additional functionality and libraries, e.g. Enterprise controls are commercially sold by the Qt company. Supported platforms Qt works on many different platforms, the following are officially supported After Nokia opened the Qt source code to the community on Gatorius various ports appeared. There are also some ports of Qt that may be available, but are not supported anymore. These platforms are listed in list of platforms supported by Qt. Licensing Qt is available under the following free software licenses, GPL 2.0, GPL 3.0, LGPL 3.0 and LGPL 2.1 with Qt special exception. Note that some modules are only available under a GPL license, which means that applications which statically link to these modules need to comply with that license. In addition, Qt has always been available under a commercial license, like the Qt commercial license, that allows developing proprietary applications with no restrictions on licensing. Topic: <laughs> Qt tools. Qt comes with its own set of tools to ease cross-platform development, which can otherwise be cumbersome due to different set of development tools. Qt Creator is a cross-platform IDE for C++ and QML. Qt Designer's GUI layout – design functionality is integrated into the IDE, although Qt Designer can still be started as a standalone tool. In addition to Qt Creator, Qt provides QMake, a cross-platform build script generation tool that automates the generation of makefiles for development projects across different platforms. There are other tools available in Qt, including the Qt Designer Interface Builder and the Qt Assistant Help Browser, which are both embedded in Qt Creator, the Qt Linguist Translation Tool, UIC User Interface Compiler, and Mock Meta Object Compiler. Q 
Topic: History of QT. Topic: Early developments. In the summer of 1990, Harvard Nord and Eric Chaim Eng, the original developers of QT and the CEO and president, respectively, of Trolltech, were working together on a database application for ultrasound images written in C++ and running on Mac OS, Unix, and Windows. They began development of QT. In 1991, three years before the company was incorporated as Quasar Technologies, then changed the name to Trolltech and then to Trolltech, the toolkit was called QT because the letter Q looked appealing in Harvard's Emacs typeface, and T was inspired by XT, the X toolkit. The first two versions of QT had only two flavors, QT, X11 for Unix and QT, Windows for Windows. On 20 May 1995 Trolltech publicly released QT 0.90 for X11, Linux with the source code under the QT Free Edition license. This license was viewed as not compliant with the free software definition by Free Software Foundation because, while the source was available, it did not allow the redistribution of modified versions. Trolltech used this license until version 1.45. Controversy erupted around 1998 when it became clear that the K-Desktop environment was going to become one of the leading desktop environments for Linux. As it was based on QT, many people in the free software movement worried that an essential piece of one of their major operating systems would be proprietary. The Windows platform was only available under a proprietary license, which meant free, open-source applications written in QT for X11 could not be ported to Windows without purchasing the proprietary edition. <laughs> Becoming free software friendly With the release of version 2.0 of the toolkit, the license was changed to the Q Public License (QPL), a free software license, but one regarded by the Free Software Foundation as incompatible with the GPL. Compromises were sought between KDE and Trolltech whereby QT would not be able to fall under a more restrictive license than the QPL, even if Trolltech was bought out or went bankrupt. This led to the creation of the KDE Free Quote Foundation, which guarantees that QT would fall under a BSD-style license should no free, open-source version of QT be released during 12 months. In 2000, QT X11 2.2 was released under the GPL v2, ending all controversy regarding GPL compatibility. At the end of 2001, Trolltech released QT 3.0, which added support for Mac OS X. The Mac OS X support was available only in the proprietary license until June 2003, when Trolltech released QT 3.2 with Mac OS X support available under the GPL. In 2002, members of the KDE on Sigwin project began porting the GPL licensed QT X11 code base to Windows. This was in response to Trolltech's refusal to license QT Windows under the GPL on the grounds that Windows was not a free, open source software platform. The project achieved reasonable success although it never reached production quality. This was resolved when Trolltech released QT 4.0 also for Windows under the GPL in June 2005. QT4 supported the same set of platforms in the free software, open source editions as in the proprietary edition, so it is possible, with QT4.0 and later releases, to create GPL licensed free, open source applications using QT on all supported platforms. The GPL v3 with special exception was later added as an added licensing option. The GPL exception allows the final application to be licensed under various GPL-incompatible free software, open-source licenses such as the Mozilla Public License 1.1. 1 .1. Acquisition by Nokia Nokia acquired Trolltech ASA on 17 June 2008 and changed the name first to QT Software, then to QT Development Frameworks. Nokia focused on turning QT into the main development platform for its devices, including a port to the Symbian S60 platform. Version 1.0 of the Nokia QT SDK was released on 23 June 2010. 
The source code was made available over Gatorius, a community-oriented Git source code repository, with a goal of creating a broader community using and improving Qt. On 14 January 2009, Qt version 4.5 added another option, the LGPL, to make Qt more attractive for both non-GPL open source projects and closed applications. In February 2011, Nokia announced its decision to drop Symbian Technologies and base their future smartphones on the Windows Phone platform instead. One month later, Nokia announced the sale of Qt's commercial licensing and professional services to Digia, with the immediate goal of taking Qt support to Android, iOS and Windows 8 platforms, and to continue focusing on desktop and embedded development, although Nokia was to remain the main development force behind the framework at that time. <laughs> Merging and demerging with Digia In March 2011, Nokia sold the commercial licensing part of Qt to Digia creating Qt Commercial. In August 2012, Digia announced that it would acquire Quote from Nokia. The Qt team at Digia started their work in September 2012. They released Qt 5.0 within a month and newer versions every six months with new features and additional supported platforms. In September 2014, Digia transferred the QT business and copyrights to their wholly owned subsidiary, the QT Company, which owns 25 brands related to QT. In May 2016, Digia and QT demerged completely into two independent companies. Topic: The QT Project and Open Governance. Qt5 was officially released on the 19th of December 2012. This new version marked a major change in the platform with hardware accelerated graphics, QML and JavaScript playing a major role. The traditional C++ only Q widgets continued to be supported but did not benefit from the performance improvements available through the new architecture. Qt5 brings significant improvements to the speed and ease of developing user interfaces. Framework development of Qt5 moved to open governance at qt project.org, which made it possible for developers outside Digia to submit patches for review. <laughs> Qt contributors Aside from the Qt company, many organizations and individuals using Qt as their development platform participate in the open development of Qt via the Qt project. One such Qt contributor is KDAB, a Swedish Qt consulting company. KDAB is involved in many areas, including maintenance of several components. Together with RIM, BlackBerry, KDAB is maintaining the QNX and BlackBerry 10 ports of Qt. Another participator is Intel, contributing, for example, Wayland support. AudioCodes maintains IBM Clearcase support in Qt Creator. As a heavy user of Qt, the KDE project submits many patches and features from its developer library KDE frameworks back to Qt. Topic. See also List of widget toolkits Android software development iOS SDK Topic. Bibliography Qt Wiki provides a comprehensive list of English books about Qt. This is a list of notable books.